Hi, I'm Steve from Intigems and today I'm with Christina to learn how to pick an engagement ring. So Christina, uh, what's the first thing I should know before I purchase an engagement ring? Well, you definitely want to decide on your budget. That's the most important because that's going to be the factor that determines all the little details. After that, you want to decide on the style of the engagement ring. Is it going to be classic, antique, modern, or solitaire? Those are the four most common ones, but there are plenty others. What are the types of metal out there and what are, what's the best? Typically the most popular for engagement rings are platinum and white gold. And a lot of the times we get customers asking, you know, which one is better? But it's not necessarily that one is better, they're both just very different. Platinum is a pure metal and so it tends to scratch a little bit easier, but the color will never ever fade. With white gold, the color tends to fade to its natural yellowish color over time, so you have to get it re-rhodium plated. However, it won't scratch as easily. What's the different types of shapes of a diamond and what's the most popular? Well, there are so many different types of shapes that diamonds come in. Um, there's round, princess, marquee, oval, cushion, the list goes on and on. But the two most popular are round and princess. Can you tell me something about the four C's? The first C is carat, which is basically just how big the diamond is. The second C is color. The GIA scale ranges from D to Z, D being completely colorless. Typically we sell in the colorless and near colorless range. We usually recommend if you're a little bit pickier that you go a G and above. Now the third C is clarity. It goes from flawless all the way down to included. And usually you can't see the inclusions from an SI2 or above. So it's usually safe to stick within there, especially if you're a little bit price conscious. The fourth C is cut. The scale ranges from excellent to poor. We usually recommend good and above because the cut of the diamond, although a lot of people don't really think about it that often, that's what's really gonna give your diamond that brilliance, the fire, and just that overall sparkle. What's a certification and uh, is it necessary? Certification just means that a diamond was graded through a gemological laboratory. And each of those have different standards. And so typically a lot of people go for the GIA because they are a little bit stricter. So you tend to get a little bit higher quality diamonds with each of those. But it's definitely important to have because when you buy from any jeweler really that piece of paper is proof that you know what you're getting. Is there anything else I should know when buying an engagement ring? It's a good idea to get insurance. Well uh, thanks Christina for uh, this informative lesson. Uh, I thank everybody for watching and for more information just uh, check out our website at www.intogems.com.